To get a better understanding of what may be causing your back or neck pain, we are going to review the basic anatomy and physiology of the spine. We will begin by examining a healthy spine and learn how certain activities or traumatic injury can lead to lower back pain that may radiate down the legs, or neck pain that can cause numbness or tingling in the arms and hands. Once we have identified the most common causes and conditions leading to back and neck pain, you will learn how spine med decompression therapy is designed to alleviate the underlying problems, relieving pain, and helping you return to the activities you enjoy, all without the use of drugs or surgery. The human spine is made up of a series of bones, called vertebrae, connected together by ligaments and muscles. The spine is designed to protect the spinal cord, the superhighway that carries electrical signals from the brain to the rest of the body. Each vertebra in the spine is separated by an intervertebral disc. For simplicity's sake, the disc can be likened to a jelly donut. It has a soft gel-like substance in the center called the nucleus pulposus, which is surrounded by a tough outer coating called the annulus fibrosus. The discs serve three primary functions. They act as shock absorbers to prevent compression fractures of the vertebrae. They provide mobility to the spine, allowing it to bend and twist and they separate the vertebrae, allowing nerve roots to branch off from the spinal cord and travel to the rest of the body. Let's take a closer look at a healthy intervertebral disc, this time looking down on it from above. The pink portion represents the nucleus. This is the gel-like center of the disc responsible for healthy disc height. Water is held within the nucleus by tiny sponge-like molecules called proteoglycan aggregates. These super sponges have an amazing ability to attract and hold over 500 times their own mass in water. The nucleus is surrounded by the annulus fibrosus. Like the term fibrosus implies, the annulus is a tough, fibrous material made primarily of type 1 collagen. Its primary job is to keep the nucleus contained in the center of the disc. In a healthy disc, the annulus is very pliable and capable of bending and flexing. Notice that the annulus has its own nerve supply, shown by the yellow dots along the outer wall. The spinal nerve roots, seen here in yellow, are extensions of the brain and spinal cord. The facet joints are located just behind the spinal nerve roots. It is at these joints that the vertebrae make contact as they are stacked upon one another. The disc relies on the transfer of fluids and nutrients from the vertebrae above and below, as well as the outer layer of the annulus to stay healthy. Excessive loads on the discs result in increased pressure that slows the transfer of these vital fluids and nutrients. Continued wear and tear results in dehydration and disc degeneration. Excessive weight, poor posture, heavy lifting, or repetitive movements may accelerate this process. The most common feature of disc degeneration is the loss of fluid in the disc nucleus. As the discs shrink, the space between the vertebrae decreases, causing more bone-on-bone -bone activity at the facet joint. This may cause pain and irritation, known as facet syndrome. Furthermore, disc dehydration causes the tough, pliable outer coating of the disc to become brittle and susceptible to cracks and tears that may lead to disc herniations. As we learned earlier, this outer layer of the disc has its own nerve supply. Small cracks or tears in the annulus alone may cause severe low back pain. As the tears worsen, the gel-like material of the nucleus begins to push through the annular wall, creating a disc bulge. As the condition progresses, the bulge applies a physical pressure to the nerve root. A compressed nerve often causes lower back pain and sciatica a pain that radiates into the buttocks or down one or both legs. Damaged intervertebral discs seldom heal because they remain under constant pressure even when a person is at rest. With back and neck pain reaching epidemic proportions in this country, medical professionals recently began exploring additional treatment options. By combining science and technology, one of the world's most advanced conservative treatments for disc injuries was introduced with the SpineMed decompression table. 
Spine Med Decompression Therapy is a non-surgical, drug-free treatment that has been clinically shown to help reduce the disabling pain associated with bulging discs, herniated discs, disc degeneration, facet syndrome, and sciatica. The Spine Med Decompression Table acts to isolate and decompress spinal discs through distraction and positioning of the lumbar or cervical spine. This procedure takes place with the patient fully clothed and has been described as safe, painless, and extremely effective. Through precise computer controls, the spine med is designed to target the damaged lumbar or cervical discs and then gently distract the spine. Under distraction, the pressure exerted on the disc is reduced dramatically, which may help draw the bulging or herniated gel-like material of the nucleus back into the center of the disc, relieving pressure on the nerves. Furthermore, reduced pressure helps the disc draw in the fluids and nutrients necessary for proper hydration and disc height. Following a care plan of approximately 20 spine med treatments, patients may realize a cumulative effect that significantly reduces lower back or neck pain, and all without the use of drugs or surgery. Before I got into spine med, the pain was so bad that it would interfere with my day at work to where I was grouchy, I was irritable. I would get it on my lower back and it was, it used to kill me, drive me crazy. Especially when I was in the car. My leg would actually go numb and the pain was just, just unbearable. I couldn't feel the legs, I couldn't stand. It was just unbearable pain. Uh, when I was advised by my orthopedic surgeon that I was a candidate for uh, cervical surgery, uh, I realized that it was not a route that I wanted to go. The second orthopedic surgeon I went to really, really stressed the fact, he says, don't let anybody operate on your back because of uh, uh, injury, uh, ner ner nerve damage, so on and so forth. And I says, what is my alternative. What, what do I do from here? I'm living in pain. And he really stretched this table. And I'm going back to Dr. DeMarco for a treatment. I mentioned to him and he says, I just purchased one. Dr. Markson told me about spine med and that it was a conservative route of treatment, um, non-invasive, that he's seen great results from other patients. The spine med decompression therapy sounded a much more conservative treatment and I'm glad I made the decision not to undergo the surgery. I have big things to pick up at work, like trays and stuff. I can do that with no trouble, where before this arm here just would not lift, just wouldn't lift. I'd have to use this arm to help do it. And now I'm just picking it up and going on with my life and running around circles some of them. People are <laughs> Having a, actually undergone this uh, spine med decompression therapy myself, I've actually recommended it to several of my clients. Clients of mine that are in the same situation I was. They have herniations, some have actually multiple herniations, either in the cervical or lumbar area, that have actually recommended this type of treatment to them. I would recommend it to anybody. I, I'm just overjoyed, I'm happy. I can actually sit in a car and go for an hour's ride and get out, and I feel great. I no longer have the pain radiant across my shoulders. Spine Med is just absolutely wonderful. It was remarkable. The treatment was great. I'm a much happier person. I have a better attitude. I find myself whistling and kidding around. I truly re recommend it to anybody with any kind of back or neck discomforts, herniated discs. It just feels so much like I'm really getting my life back. My first time on the spine med table, I was a little nervous. I didn't know what to expect. There was a lot of weird things going on in my back, and I got used to it, by the second and by the third visit, I was taking a nap. The headphones on, they had the music on, and I would actually fall asleep. That pain's no longer there. I don't have the, the number and tingling I had at my fingertips. I feel like I did maybe 25 years ago, I would say, 20, 25 years ago. And I haven't had this feeling in a long, long time because I've been living with pain. And I just can't say enough about it. I just feel good now. It's just unbelievable what it's done for me. I don't feel any pain. It's definitely worth the investment in your life.